welcome back everybody to another episode of Section 8 Survival. So, brace yourselves. This is kind of cool. Check that out. Got a full working passage now. Instead of that freaking crappy step they kept getting destroyed, we now have a very, very cool formal way up to our little sky island. And also, I don't know if you guys have seen the bottom of it before, but it is huge looking up there. So, let's go ahead and take a look and see how it looks and operates. It's pretty much a nice little formal entryway, and then boom, you come up here into this little waterfall. Um, now, I tried to think, if we were to go at war with anybody, what can we do to make this, like, okay? Um, so pretty much, I wanted to go ahead and say that if you got knocked out of this waterfall by someone shooting an arrow at you, you have plenty of room to fall and you're fine. That water's too deep. If you fall anywhere where there's water, you're gonna land just fine, no problems at all. And personally, it's not that bad if we're on the bottom to get up here. It's, it's not too long, but then again, I mean, it would be nice if there was a faster way to get up here. So once you get up here, you get greeted with a little kind of gazebo looking thing. Um, and me and Chris have a little emergency chest here with armor, swords, and food just in case we get attacked. And then add some new pathways. So trying to make the place look a little bit better and have uh, some little routes going to each place. So we got going to the shop, we have the house. Um, right now, I have it coming over here. So you can get to the farm, the monster's trap, and uh, the enchanting room along with the farm over there. Uh, which it looks like the farming and the despawning that was happening in the last episode did stop now. So, so far all the animals that we have we're keeping. Um, also, we got a potion room set up. Not much being done here yet, but pretty much just prepping. Um, and once we get a couple more materials, we're going to be uh, doing a lot more enchanting. Um, Alright, so right now I'm going to go ahead and jump into fly mode. And we're going to go and see what else we got. Um, the last thing over here is I wanted a lake. I wanted a lake to fish in, so that's pretty much what I made here. And then I also am starting on a uh, desert biome. So, right now, like, I'm really, really used to working with um, regular gla grasslands and stuff like that, and, um, like, terraforming with that. But I haven't done desert, and I haven't done tundra. So I'm going to try in my hands at that and see how it looks. But yeah, this is like the little starting of my beach slash desert area. So it's going to be really interesting to see how I'm able to do this. But I'm really excited for it because I like being able to make stuff that looks natural. But it is one hell of a thing to do. Um, especially with new biomes that you haven't really tr tried and uh, tested out with much. Alright, so on over. I have a new shop that no one knows about yet because they have no like today I got a lot done um, and so far no one's been on it all today so it's just me by myself and here we are at the new shop so we got the diamond disc store so pretty much it, I now have every single disc a minimum of three of them in each of these chests now um, a couple nights ago I was like you know I kinda want a music disc and it evolved into me getting um, a little over a double chest full of different music discs so pretty much every single music disc you can want and I even offer jukeboxes and I don't know if that's too expensive or not um, I actually got paid a full diamond block for um, for far I got three more of those in and I was thinking a diamond block is way too much but if someone's willing to do that maybe they'll still go high so I think three diamonds would be fine, but yet, I don't know. If it doesn't sell, then I'm going to lower the price, but um, we're going to see how it goes. So I'm really excited for this, and um, I also added an ATM next to McDonald's. Kind of looks like an ATM, kind of looks like a fail, but it's my attempt at it. Um, and then there's only one other thing, really. Um, Poopy bought... A hundred by hundred plot going from the town hall to his piece of land and then decided to build what I consider looks like a crusty crab in my opinion but uh, he swears that's not oh god 
Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, so, and then he also made it super flat, which this took him so long to do. But I don't, I don't know if he's gonna go full pumpkins all the way across or not, but my god. If he can do that, he's gonna have pretty much a fortress of his own right here. He's gonna have either one hell of a city or whatever he's planning on building. Probably, he's probably gonna take this whole land and probably make it into potato fields. That would not surprise me, and that would be hilarious if he actually did that. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Whatever he's got in mind for that. Um, and then, actually a little couple more things. Um, overall, like with people's bases, everybody's bases are pretty much the same except for mine. Um, and then over here, Chris decided to buy this plot of land. Um, not the Chris that works with me, but um, the other Chris who works in a separate section from us. Um, Tyler's area is still the same. And then the last thing to wrap this all up is Cameron, I think, has a shop now that's open. Um, okay. And I don't have a way in there, I don't think. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and break down the door, and I'll replace it later, but I want to go ahead and show you guys what's going on in here. But, um... Oh god, that's going to take forever. But yeah, so right now on the map, it seems like it's been pretty quiet today, but um, on average, everyone's been on and been active for quite a while. Um, but right now, it seems like everyone's in a mining phase right now, trying to get diamonds and iron and such. Um, and right now, I'm just more focused on... Uh, oh, that's... Oh, I gotta alert him of that one. Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna just go and blow this guy up. Um, go a little bit farther ahead of him. Let's see if you can get him down to that hole. Oh, nope. Not good enough. Okay. Um, so now let's go and check out in here really quick for another creeper spawn. So right now he's got it nice looking. I'll give him that. He's got like a, kind of like an ancient tunnel, or not tunnel, um, ancient temple. There it is. Like a temple feel with it, which I'm kind of liking that. Um, and then I guess in the back, yeah. Okay, so he's got like a farmer's market sort of thing going. He's got... He doesn't have much over here. Looks like he has a tunnel system going from his place to here. There you go. Just quick delivery system. But yeah. So this is actually kind of cool looking. I'm liking this. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what's going to be happening. And hopefully, um, I'm going to be able to tell him, and he'll be on, like, hopefully in a couple of hours, hopefully, and I can warn him that this is too dark and it's spawning creepers in here, because that would be one hell of a surprise. <laughs> Come to stock your shelves, and boom, everything is destroyed. All right. Well, that does it for everything for today, guys. Uh, thank you for checking in on the eight sections map. We have plenty more coming, don't worry. Um, hopefully... I'll be able to get a little bit more of my island settled. Maybe even a new shop idea next episode. Alright, so thanks for checking in, you guys, and make sure to stay tuned for more. And I will see you next time. See you later, guys.